This is the homework help video for Chemistry Homework 5.3. Uh, this is a percent composition section here, and I'm going to do two problems for you. Uh, I, I will do numbers 1 and, actually it says 2 on here, but it's 1. Uh, numbers 1 and number 4. Let's go ahead and start with number 1. Uh, we're doing percent, percent composition here. The other way to say this is percent by mass. And the first thing that we need to do is find the molar mass of each of those two elements. We've got Hg or mercury, which has a molar mass of 200.59 grams per mole. And we've got oxygen, which has a molar mass of 16 grams per mole. Uh, if it says on your periodic table 15.9994, uh, 16 is close enough. Um, <clears throat> now, there's no subscripts here, so we have one mercury and one oxygen. That's really nice because we know that the molar mass then of the compound, HGO, or mercury oxide, equals 216.59 grams per mole. So the molar mass of the compound is 216.59 grams per mole. Now, to find the percent composition, to find the percent mercury and the percent oxygen, we need to divide the molar mass of each of the elements by the molar mass of the compound. So uh, for mercury, we'll take 200.59 divided by 216.59 and that will give us, sorry, we'll multiply that times 100 also to get the percent. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that will give us 92.6% mercury. Sorry, I'm running out of room there just a little bit. For the oxygen, we'll do the same thing. We'll take 100 times 16 divided by 216.59 and that'll give us 7.4% oxygen. So your answers for that one should be 92.6% mercury and 7.4% oxygen. The second one here is a little bit tougher. Uh, if we look at the <clears throat> excuse me, um, iron oxide question, uh, we have three irons and four oxygens. We'll start the same way. Uh, iron has a molar mass of... 55.847 grams per mole and oxygen has a molar mass again of 16 grams per mole. The tricky part here is that we have multiple uh, atoms of each element. So we'll take that 55.847 times 3 because there are three of them and that'll give us 167 0.541. So in one atom of this, there are 160, or sorry, one mole of this, there are 167.541 grams of iron. That's what that's saying. For the oxygen, we'll multiply by 4, and that'll give us 64 grams per mole of oxygen. So again, in one mole of this, there are 64 grams of oxygen. When we add those two things together, we get 231.541 grams per mole. So the, the total molar mass of that compound is 231.541 grams per mole. Now, when we divide to find the percent composition, we need to use these numbers here not these numbers here. We're not going to use those for percent composition because this talks about one mole of iron. This talks about how much iron we have in our compound. So uh, as we divide here, we'll start by taking 167.541 divided by 231.541 times 100 and that will give us 72 percent iron. For the oxygen we'll do the same thing with the 64 instead so we'll take 64 divided by 231.541 times 100 
and that will give us 27.6% oxygen. So there are your answers for those two questions. The rest of those you can handle on your own. I hope this helped.